I've got some questions that I like to ask myself. What's my purpose in life? How can I make the world a better place? I've got some other questions too, that, like why do I have hair on my shoulders? And do I cut it? Do I trim it? What am I supposed to do with it? Does it need hair product? But I've got other questions too, and they're from our viewers today, and we're gonna answer them on Steam Culture. Hey, I'm excited because today is fan mail day. I'm gonna go in this box and I'm gonna dump these out and I'm gonna randomly pick a letter from you, our viewers. Out of the two letters that we have. All right, here we go. Uh, first one, let's see. Brent, I think you're fantastic and you're cute <laughs> and I love your show. P.S. Your dad says hi and stop, stop waving your hands when you talk. Love mom. All right, next letter. Ooh, this is a good one. Why are steam burns worse than hot water burns? Now maybe you've heard that before, that a steam burn hurts a little more if you burn your hand on the, uh, on the stove top or something like that. Well, let's talk about it. This is a concept called the latent heat of vaporization. You need to know that. Here's what else you need to know. It involves something called a phase change. This is where we change states. In this case, we're going from a liquid to a gas. We're going from water to steam. Now to do that, we need to add heat. When you, when you do that, the water starts to boil, but nothing happens to it until it absorbs temperature energy. Now here we're talking about 200, uh, 2,260 kilojoules per kilogram of water have to be absorbed by the water before it can change phase into steam. So you have this energy that's in the steam. Here's where a steam burn happens. When that steam, when you reach across that pot and it hits your cool skin, it changes phases. So what happens when it changes phases? We're going from a steam back to a liquid, and all that energy that it got absorbed into the steam is gonna be released on your arm. That's why steam burns generally hurt worse than a water burn. If it was just a water burn, uh, it would still hurt, but you never change phases. It just, you heated up some water, so it doesn't have all that energy captured in it. So the next time you're ironing your khakis in the morning, right? and you're watching the news or you're watching the sport highlights and you're not paying attention and here goes your hand. Yeah, that's what we don't want to happen. We don't want 2260 kilojoules of energy being released on your hand. So please be safe, respect the steam always. Thanks for joining us. I'll come up with something fun for you next week. Come back and see me. Find us on social media because we're everywhere. I will see you next week.